my grandfather's older brother who was challenged by Count Arnold of Arnold's fame that an Irishman couldn't run a restaurant. So he got the lease for, it's called the View Carré restaurant. I invited Bananas Foster's there. They started breakfast at Brennan's there and been in business here ever since. My name is Patrick Brennan. I'm one of the chefs here at Brennan's. Back working for my dad for almost two years now. Found out we were gonna take over this restaurant and got excited and moved home from California. I started cooking when I was nine years old uh, at one of our restaurants and have been doing it ever since. I mean, I remember being a kid, cracking eggs and holding a burr mixer, making you know a couple gallons of rum a lot at a time, learning how to taste it and how to season it. Yeah, it's a fun summer job for a nine-year-old. I don't know where I'd be without having learned to cook in New Orleans. People here love their food seasoned. They love big, strong, bold flavors. So people would go with that with their coffee too. The story I grew up with was Dick Brennan at Commander's. He would go in and he'd pour a cup of coffee and if it wasn't strong enough, he'd just hit the little tab, let it pour out, and grab whoever was supposed to make the coffee that day and say, try again. I take my coffee black or sometimes spoiled with the restaurant industry, so I use a little heavy cream. Dark roast and chicory. Nice, bitter, strong coffee, which is the best. I don't know, I don't know if I can say there's one flavor of New Orleans. It's definitely just a little jumble of everything that makes very little sense and keeps it interesting. No one really understands how pervasive the, the attitude in New Orleans is, how ingrained enjoying life is. New Orleans Bold is, is walking down the street in New Orleans, dressed however you want, acting however you want, and enjoying yourself.